be doing a quick review on a professional line photo book produced by Sal Digital. I do want to preface this video with the fact that Sal Digital did provide me with a voucher to order this book for free, which is awesome. Um, but in no way did they tell me that I have to say certain things about the book. Uh, it was really just in exchange for my honest review on the quality of the book. So that's what I'll be doing today. So before I show you guys the book, I want to take off this plastic cover. I was waiting to do this review before I did that so it looks as new as possible. So the cover of the book here is actually made out of acrylic and it really gives this really nice glossy high contrast look to the to the uh, book right there. Oh, you can see my light right there. So here's the book. That's really nice. Look at that. So I decided to go with the full photo cover um, just because I like the impact that it has on the viewer. And of course I chose a picture that would uh, complement the color of the leather backing, which is a, a wood look right here. So that's a nice, I mean, that's a nice looking photo album right there. I did read some reviews about the acrylic possibly being a bit soft, so you have to really make sure that you're careful with the book and um, just don't bang it into anything because you might start to get some of the uh, indentations here or some chipping. So uh, just be careful with that. So this right here is their 12 by 12 professional line photo book. It comes in at right under $150. So, you know, if you're paying that much for a book, you're not going to be uh, slamming it around and you're, I think you're naturally going to be more careful with it. So, um, yeah, so that is the outside of the book. Uh, I chose a really simple design right here just because uh, that's how I like it. I just like it simple. The only other thing about this type of uh, acrylic covering is that you might get some fingerprint smudging, but honestly that's not a big deal and uh, can easily be cleaned off. So um, yeah, that is the cover. Look at that. Beautiful. So for the inside of the book, I decided to go with the glossy paper just because I like the increase in contrast that it gives to the photos. Um, so I'll just go through some of the pages here just so you can see my layout. <clears throat> what I really like about this photo book is that the colors are really true to how I had them on my computer. So the photo company does a really great job with giving you an accurate depiction of the photos um, in the book. With some of the cheaper companies that you go with, I won't name any names, but you can get some variation in the coloring and um, sometimes you can get more quality control issues and uh, really get some nasty results on occasion. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this book is beautiful. I was thinking about going with a black and white book, but um, I just love color so much. There's my night sky pictures. Oh, this is my favorite one. I love this full layout option that they have. And that's something else I really like about this company is that the, um, the photo software that they provide you to actually make the book is really straightforward and easy to use. So they just kind of give you these page templates, which is common, um, but they don't really overwhelm you with the options. So. Um, it's really easy to design the book and another thing that I like is that they clearly tell you the photo quality um, of the picture that you're uploading into a certain section of the book. So uh, for example, if I put this picture in right here, they tell me that the quality is very good. So I know that I could actually put it into a larger layout right here and have the end result still look very crisp. But if I were to take a very old picture like this one right here, um, this was taken many years ago in Alaska with uh, an old Nikon that I had. 
But basically, if I were to blow that up into this section right here, it would probably tell me that the photo quality was just good instead of very good, and I might get a softer picture, so. Oh, here's a black and white section right here. I love this book. I really love it. This was taken on my uh, Nikon D850 that I used to have. I do miss that camera. Such a nice camera. Um, oh, here's where I messed up. So I took this on a Fuji, but the I think the quality said that it was good and I didn't actually mean to print this picture. I had another mountain picture that I wanted to upload, but um, I was a little bit careless and I forgot to switch those out. So um, it doesn't look bad from far away, but if you were looking closer, you could see a little bit of the photo noise and um, it's a little bit softer of an image, but not bad. I just, um, I wish that I would have remembered to switch it out, so. Um, yeah, so that's the book. And here's the another full layout of a picture that I took. This was also taken with the Nikon D850. I love this picture of the lightning going right over the cherry trees right there. So, and then I put a little inspirational quote from my kids that I came up with, um, just so it was a little bit more uh, personal of a book. So yeah, that is the Sal Digital Professional Line photo book right there, the 12 by 12 version, so. My last picture is just a flock of birds to kind of end off the the book right there. So, yeah, amazing, amazing quality book right there. I really love it. Um, I think that the only critique that I would have for Sal Digital would be to maybe update the software that you use to create the books. It has a little bit of an outdated look and you could probably make it look a little bit more modern in terms of design, but otherwise I really liked how simple it was. I also think that you could include a few more text layout options for the pages that you want to uh, include text. But yeah, otherwise I love this book. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to review it. So anyone who is looking for a professional photo book to either deliver to their clients or just have for personal use, uh, this is a great option by Sal Digital. So yeah, look at their professional line photo books. And I think that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.